In this video, I will show you how to deploy Adobe Acrobat Reader using group policy, and we will deploy it using two methods. One, where we assign the policy to our domain computers, and then the computers install the software during startup. And other one is when we assign the software to our users, and then the users themselves can install the software whenever they want. And as you can see, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information that I will be using for this video. And also, here in the bottom, you can find my other videos that are related to this one. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup, and here are the extra group policies and extra settings that I'm using when deploying software with group policy. And I will leave the URL for this page in the description down below. And now I will start this video by downloading the reader. For that, I will use this link right here, and it brings us to the download page for Adobe Acrobat Reader. First thing that we need to do here is to select the operating system. And in my case, I will select Windows 11. Then for the language, I'll select English. And for the version, we have only one option. So I will be selecting that. And now I will click on Download Acrobat Reader. And now we can go to our Downloads folder. And as you can see here, we have our executable. And that's the first problem that we need to solve here. Because when deploying software using group policies, we need an MSI file and we will be extracting an MSI file from this executable. So for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. And as you can see here, we have all the commands that I will be using in this video. So to extract the MSI files, we will use this command right here. And here we need to provide the path to our executable that we downloaded and also a destination folder where we want to extract our contents to. So I will select this line and then I will copy it. And the next step is to open CMD using administrative privileges. For that, I will use my terminal and I will right click on it and then right click once more on the terminal and click run as administrator. And it opened a terminal window, but in this case is for the PowerShell instance because we can see it by the indicator right here. And like I said, uh, we need a CMD window because PowerShell sometimes gets confused about the quotation marks. So let's switch to CMD by just typing CMD. And now we have a CMD instance because the indicator for PowerShell here is gone. Now I will paste in the command from the GitHub page and click enter. Also, if you are using the same command as me, make sure that the executable name is correct because this executable name has a version number in it, so it will change in time. And now let's go back to our downloads folder. And as you can see, we have a new folder here that's called reader. Let's go inside of it. And as you can see, we have some files here. And one of them is the Acro Reader MSI. And this is a second problem that we need to solve because we cannot use this file. If we would use this file, it would install an older version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. And that's not what we want in most cases when deploying software. And to solve it, we will need to extract the contents of this MSI file, just like we did, more or less like we did uh, with the executable. And this process is called creating an administrative installation point. And then when we have those files, we can use this patch right here to update the installation files inside of the administrative installation point. So for that, let's go back to my GitHub page. And this time we will be using this command right here. Here we will need to provide the path to our MSI file that we currently have and the destination folder where we want our administrative installation point to be created in. So I will copy this command and then I will go back to my CMD and paste in the command. Here we can click next. As you can see, because we have the target there a parameter, it filled in this field. If you didn't use that parameter, you can select a different folder here and then let's click install. Let's finish and let's go back to our downloads folder. And as you can see, we have another folder here. Let's go inside of it. And once again, we have another MSI file and few other folders that is used for the installation. So the next step is to use this MSI file to patch the files that are here. And for that, let's go back to the GitHub page. And here we have the third and final command and that we will use to patch that, that administrative installation point. 
and here we need to provide the msi file that we extracted now so in the latest folder this one then we need to provide the patch the, the patch location that we have in the directory that we created earlier is this one and the final parameter is the target there it's basically where we have our administrative installation point so it's back here it's a bit confusing but make sure that you can that you get all the parameters here correct like here you cannot use in the msi file that we used here it's necessary that you use the msi file that we just created so for that i will select uh, all everything in this line copy it go back to my terminal paste in the command and once again we have a pop-up here we can click next here we can use uh, the path from target there or select another one but make sure that you select the folder where we have our administrative installation point and click install okay let's click finish go back to our folders and now we have the installation for adobe reader and it's updated to the version that is in the executable and that's it now we can use this msi file to deploy the software using group policy so for that i will go back to my downloads and i will copy this folder then i will go to my vmware workstation where i, I have my windows server instances installed and i will move this folder to my desktop on the server now for the next step we need to move our installation files to a network share which is accessible by our users and computers and for that i have a file server and let's go to it it's srv02 as you can see it has a file share called software and currently it's empty so i will drag and drop the folder here and here it's important that you have correct share permissions and the correct folder permissions let's check my folder permissions by right clicking on the folder and going to properties and then to the security tab and as you can see in my case i'm using authenticated users with read permissions and i'm using authenticated users just because authenticated users covers both computers and users in my domain so all the computers that are in my domain and all the users have read permissions in this folder and you need to have more or less the same permissions for your share also if you want to know more you should watch my video about installing file server role and creating a share for software deployment so everything seems to be fine here i will click ok and now we can uh, go to our server manager and start creating group policies so for that i will click on tools select group policy management then i will select the group policy objects right click it select new and here i will name it assign adobe reader and this first policy it will be for our computers it's where the computers will install the software during startup so i will click ok let's expand our group policy objects and as you can see the policy that we created appeared here now i will right click it and then select edit and like i said this policy will be for our domain computers so we need to go to the computer configuration expand policies expand software settings and select software installation and here inside of it we can right click it hover over new and select package and here it's important that we select an msi file from our network share as you can see uh, currently this path leads to a local folder that's that's on the server and it would allow us to create a policy but the problem is that when the computers would try to install the software they would fail the installation because they don't have the access to the server's desktop so always make sure that this link here leads to a network location so for that i will go to my uh, file server it's srv02 once again it's the software share and we have our folder that ho is holding the installation files and here i will select the aqua read M msi and we will leave it at default setting as assigned and click ok 
we are done with this window here we can close it and now we can change few settings here uh, for example i have few vmi filters that i created for 32-bit operating system or 64-bit operating system in this case i will select the 64-bit one and click ok because i don't want this policy trying to apply on uh, computers that have 32-bit operating system and then we can go to details uh, and for the gpo status we can click here and disable user configuration settings because currently this policy only has computer configuration in it and that's it for creating this policy the next step is to assign this policy to organization units that are holding our computers on which we want to install the software so for that i have this organization unit right here the main computers one and currently it only has one computer so to link the policy we can click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop on the organization unit let's click ok here and as you can see the policy appeared here and also we can see it when clicking on the organization unit in the list here and now the last step for us is to test if the policy is working correctly and for that i have a client computer here and the only thing that we need to do is open command line and do a gp update and as you can see it is informing us that it detected a software installation policy and that it needs a reboot to install the software so for that i will type shut down minus r minus t0 and let's see what happens it is informing us here that it is installing adobe acrobat reader now let's log into our client machine and see if the software is installed and as you can see adobe acrobat reader appeared here let's try opening it and it seems to work just fine and that's it for this policy now let's try another one it's where we assign the policy to our domain users and then the users themselves can install the software if they need it so for that let's go back to the server let's right click on our group policy objects select new and this time i will name it publish adobe reader and click ok now let's right click on the policy click edit and because this time this is a policy for our users we need to go to the user configuration expand policies expand software settings and select software installation once again let's click inside of here hover over new and select package once again make sure to check that the link here leads to a network location and then select the msi file that you want to deploy this time we will leave it at published and click ok now let's make few changes to this package by right clicking on it going to properties and selecting deployment and here for the installation user interface options we will select basic because we don't want to give our users uh, any options to change during the installation and then i will click apply and ok and now we can close this window here let's select our policy that we just created and here we go to the details and this time for gpu status we will disable the computer configuration settings because in this case it only has user configuration in it and click ok and that's it for creating the policy and now we just need to link it to an organization unit but this time we need to link it to an organization unit that is holding our domain users or group of users or whatever you like in my case it's domain users uh, here and it is holding a single user that's named john so to link it i will click and hold on the policy that we created and then drag and drop inside of the organization unit here i will select ok and as you can see the policy appeared here and if we click on the organization unit we have it here 
and now we can go to one of our client computers and see if the policy is working also as you can see i have this icon right here that brings us straight into the software installation menu but currently we have nothing here because uh, the policy didn't apply yet for that i will open cmd and do gp update and gp update completed successfully and this time we don't have to reboot our computer but for the list here we need to refresh it so i will right click and select refresh and as you can see now we see a package here i will double click it it is informing us that it started the installation it informs us that the installation was successful we can click ok here let's close this window here and the command line and now we have adobe reader on our desktop so i will double click it accept the license terms and as you can see everything seems to be working just fine so that's basically it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one